Hey there, friends. I hope all of you are having a sweet Saturday. It's 63 degrees here. Yay, yay, yay. So I'm going to go outside and, and do a little bit of yard work. We don't have much sun, but gosh, it, you know, it's really nice when it's December the 12th, which is a portal day, 12-12, and you get a little bit of a break from the cold weather. You guys, last night I posted two videos about multitasking as you're doing your art projects. We worked on um, our big old book of backgrounds, which I finished this morning. Uh, you know, we were talking about how advantageous it is to be able to uh, multitask when you are creating. So I was working in this book. I was also painting uh, some background imagery. I was also painting index cards as we were going through the process. So I kind of wanted to catch you up on on um, how things ended up last night. So we had, you know, we had our Friday night paint party and I was able to create these uh, three by five index cards and I also put tabs at the top and we'll we'll talk about that in a different video because I think that tabs are one of those things that can really enhance the project but we need to use what we have which is what we're really really focusing on right now because uh, I've issued myself a challenge and it is to use what I have uh, for the rest of the year and, you know, it's going so well that I'm thinking that I can probably keep, uh, you know, keep doing the Use What I Have project into, into January. Now, you guys know that I use what I have anyway. I'm not, I don't think art can be uh, purchased from a craft store, as Jenny Belly so wisely put it many, many years ago. It's fun to make your own embellishments, to make your own things, to make your own paper pads, and that is what this big book has been about. I am starting to create my own paper pads for my handmade journals. The other thing that I really did love doing with these three by five index cards, and you can see that I've got a stack right here, so let's just look at... Look at those, you know, basically what I got done last night as well as this morning. Such a quick way to create by just swiping on, uh, now this is just paint that some of it ha is dried up and, you know, I don't have any more molding paste, so I'm just using dried up paint to create some texture on these cards. Um, but one of the things that I have really been into lately is slow sewing. I did take some of my painted index cards. I stamped an image on them. I wanted to uh, pass along that this, um, this stays on solvent ink pad. And let me see. I'll put a note right here that says works great on paint. So I just wanted to, um, uh oh, hold on. All right, it's a jet black stays on solvent ink pad and it just really, really, really works well. Um, so I knew that I would forget if I didn't put a note on the top of the ink pad that it really did work well. Uh, on a painted surface. So let's see what we have here. Now this is a great opportunity y'all to uh, to use your, you know, the remainders of any kind of flush you have. It's a project that works really, really well with ribbons, yarn, any other kind of fiber that you have. I think what we're going to do is kind of take this one and we're going to use our hamsa hand and we're just going to slow sew. Now, I'm not sure if I can get all this through here, but let's, this is a nice, really big eye needle that my friend Miss C sent along. And, you know, it's just like got that chunky goodness to it that you can get your thread through. Now, see, I'm not sure if it's going to pick up that black. So I'm going to just kind of de-thread the black, which is okay because we'll use this again but I just really did like all these scrumptious little balls that were going on here so let's see if we can pull it through hey it worked oh my goodness doesn't that just look really kind of bohemian ish right 
Now, when I finish my slow sewing, I do a couple of things. I either go ahead and thread this back through, which we'll see if that'll work. I'm not sure if it'll work or not. Um, slow sewing is a great winter project, y'all. It is, it's nice to take these pieces. You know, you can create the pieces, uh, you know, like during the day and then take them downstairs and play with them on the sofa at night as you are, you know, Chris really loves his car TV. And sometimes I just, um, I, I love cars, okay? I'm, <laughs> I'm from North Carolina. I'm from Charlotte, man. I'm close to Concord, you know. So, yes, I, I am a NASCAR kind of girl, but, um, you know, he watches car shows constantly because he learns a lot from them. And I just need things to do downstairs while he's watching his car shows so, so you know, we can spend a little bit of time together. Um, the car shows are always interesting because didn't that turn out so purdy? Um, because, you know, I have a car history and he has a car history. So it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's fun to watch, but I can't watch them like he does. He, he, you know, he has a, he gets educated by the car shows. All right. Next thing we're going to do is just take a, a wee bit of embroidery floss. And the way that I kind of like to do this is I kind of like to layer that embroidery floss because then you're kind of getting a little bit of an extra bang for your buck right there. You know, I like to talk about uh, getting um, real estate <laughs> out of your papers or out of your paints or out of your markers or whatever we're using, you know, we, um, we like to kind of accentuate anything that we can. So instead of using one skein of floss, again, you know, this is going to be reliant on if you have one of these super cool big eye needles, y'all. Uh, so I've got my floss kind of layered up here. And, you know, don't we all love layers? We really love layers. And I have had the most fun uh, lately creating, uh, creating painted layers as well as any other kind of layers uh, using paper, collage, magazine images. I just really do love that kind of thing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just slow, slow, so, slow, so that... <laughs> I'm not going to bring this one back through. I'm just going to kind of let it just hang like it is. I could even that up, but I'm not even going to do that. I like the ragged. I like the uh, efforts that look kind of abandoned, um, you know, like they were maybe on someone's desk and that someone disappeared and we don't know where they disappeared to, but this is the last thing they were working on. I like... Uh, abandoned misfit weirdness. That's just kind of all there is to it. You know, the odder it is, the more I like it. So we've got one, two, three. We'll do one more using our layered embroidery floss. And pick up your big eye needle. And weave this through. Now, you can do whatever you want to, right? You can you can arrange your holes however you want. Um, I've done some of these where I've done like a zigzag pattern or you know like a a different shape. So we're just going to do. Now I don't know what this stitch is called in embroidery. I used to know a lot of embroidery terms, but not so much now. One of my very favorite things to do when I was a teenager, this is just how nerdy and geeky I am, was to go to, I am going to cut this one off right here, uh, was to go walk with my friend downtown to the, uh, the small town that we lived in, and we would buy embroidery kits because we just love that kind of thing we love to sit around and honestly we love to sit around and watch uh, her brothers work on cars and do our embroidery I mean that's kind of how we hung out during the summer of course you were outside because you were not um you were not allowed inside during the day because that was your mom's time and you were set out to pasture first thing in the morning in your bare feet 
And if you did need some shoes, you better just run in the house and get them right quick and then get out of her house again. And then when the street light came on, then that's when you went back home. Uh, so for this one, we just used a little bit of yarn and you can see how nicely that turned out. Let's get our elephant here. Let's kind of really, really like this uh, fiber in conjunction with the elephant. So let's, um, hmm, 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 what do we want to do here? Um, I think we'll just do that again because I, I did like the way that that turned out. And of course, you know, you can, I mean, this is not brain surgery, y'all. You know, you're going to, you're going to paint something and then you're going to punch some holes in it and <laughs> then you're going to use some fiber and jazz it up a little bit. You know, art does not have to be complicated, right? It can just be easy, easy, easy. There we go. And there we go. Now, isn't that super neato? I'm going to tie this one off because I just kind of like the way it looks. Just like this, without any, like, uh, raggedy-taggedy ends. With no loose chads or loose ends. So we'll just tie a little knot right here and then I'll clip this off just like that. And then we'll put that over here. So there we go, you guys. Just a few thoughts about uh, just doing some really simple, easy, smooth, calming slow sewing it's really so much fun you guys and i hope that you will try this these are going in my new journals uh the last day to for shipment of journals is december the 15th so if you see anything in the shop that you like um i can ship it to you on december the 15th thanks for hanging out with me y'all i'll talk to you soon bye